Today is a very sensitive day for Ukrainians. Today is Ukrainian Independence Day, which is usually a reason to celebrate also for Ukrainians abroad, like here in Israel. But today also marks half a year into Russia's invasion of the country. So today here at Habima Square, next to the National Theater in Tel Aviv, people have gathered in order to show their solidarity. People have brought flags and people of Ukrainian, Russian origin and also Israelis who are born here come together in order to show face and to show their support for Ukraine. This event was organized by the group Israeli Friends of Ukraine and we had the chance to speak to the organizer about why this event is so important, especially today. The main message that uh, we came and we invited uh, all Israelis uh, to come to support Ukraine, that the war is not over. And uh, that's why we asked uh, all the people to come uh, here and to celebrate on one hand uh, to celebrate the Independence Day, but uh, on the other hand to um, to show all people that around us that uh, the war is not over. So uh, that's why I'm in the white shot with the, this uh, phrase on my back. And we um, I, we think that the, there will be a lot of people uh, in a few in few minutes uh, or in few hours uh, with um, uh, white shot. The organizers indeed expected up to a thousand people attending here in the evening. And early on, we've heard also the Ukrainian ambassador to Israel, Evgeny Kornichuk, speaking. He said that he wishes everyone here and in Ukraine that uh, they can celebrate Ukrainian Independence Day next year in peace and that they can really celebrate this day again. And uh, the, this group, Israeli Friends of Ukraine, they have uh, uh, brought the Israeli and the Ukrainian flag in the last three days to the people of Israel. They have made a journey from the southern city of Elat to the northern city of Metula and they brought one Ukrainian and one Israeli flag to Israelis in order for them to sign wishes and to just sign their names on these flags to show their solidarity and this group has also created a hashtag the war is not over in order to really bring back news from Ukraine to people on uh, social media and this event really shows that people are still interested because here are not only people who are from Ukrainian origin but also Tel Avivians who step by and you can really see how Abima Square tonight lights up in the colors of the Ukrainian flag in blue and in yellow.